Good morning, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Salamander Wilds, your certified herpetologist here. And today I'm gonna to be looking for hopefully some Jefferson salamander larva. I did say um, in the beginning of the year when I did my volunteer work that I wanted to come back to the Jefferson salamander site to uh, hopefully see the larva, right? Um, and I am at the incredibly huge vernal pool where they come to breed. And I just got down to the water. And let me tell you, this is no joke, it's huge. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna find in here. I haven't actually done this before. This is my first time checking out their actual breeding site. So let me flip the camera around. Let's see what we could find. We're gonna just look for some salamanders today and let's hopefully get a focus on that Jefferson salamander larva. So if you enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like, share, comment down below, please subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, look at this. Look at all of this here. This is their breeding site right here. And it looks like a big pond. You know, um, you see, see like some uh, lily pads or I don't think they're lily pads, but other aquatic vegetation off in the distance. Maybe there's some lily pads here, but a lot of duckweed, things like that. And you might mistake this for just a typical pond, except there's no fish in here. And this is a temporary body of water, which is what makes this a seasonal vernal pool and the perfect breeding site for these animals. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the year when I uh, started off the 2025 migration video with a shot of this area. Um, you know, I had said it was going to be difficult getting into this, but I'm glad that the water comes out this far. Um, it might make things easier. However, this, you know, I don't know. I don't know how accurate this water depth is. And I say that because we've had a lot of rain recently, which is good. It keeps the pool filled. Um, I just wonder how far out these salamander larvae are and how far out I can actually explore some of this. Because, you know, like I said, uh, this was going to be difficult to get into. And clearly, with all this growth, it's looking very difficult. Um, yeah, there's a few pockets I saw to maybe poke around in. So I might just start back where I just was. But I think that's going to give us an idea of the rest of this site here. So let's start with this first accessible area. I'll break out my dip net now. And uh, yeah, let's see if we land any larva. There's definitely gonna be some spotted larva in here for sure. Oh, I saw that, that was a frog. So th there's things in here, uh, another frog. Um, yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling, let's get to it. And so with my dip net ready, I decided to poke around in the pool and mostly found wood frogs that were very, very close to metamorphosis. However, it did not take long to locate the salamander I was looking for, and I managed to land a Jefferson pretty quickly. That is so incredible. I never thought I would see one of these guys. Uh, I really wanna get you in the water though. Let me see if I have a better setup for this. And to make sure I didn't stress out the larva, I made sure to get it back into the water immediately. However, upon doing so, it immediately got away also. Fortunately, I was able to find another one fairly quickly. This next larva was just a little bit smaller than the first one. And having seen these larvae for the very first time in person, as opposed to just a quick Google search or a photograph, I had second guessed myself at first and wasn't immediately sure if these were actually Jefferson larvae. But the body coloration immediately came together and made it very clear that these were not spotted, especially due to the size of these larvae, nor were they marbled salamanders. The typical Jefferson coloration was on full display here. The yellowish speckled modeling on the tail fin and that light whitish or grayish belly. These details made it very clear that I was dealing with a completely different salamander. And I had indeed located the Jefferson salamander larva. 
and not just one or two of them, but this individual shown here was probably the fifth one that I found. And so it was great to finally be able to put the larval stage together with the adult Jeffersons that I had been seeing. It's also worth noting that blue spotted Jefferson hybrid larva could be in the pool, but due to how uncommon they are, it's probably safe to say that most if not all of the larvae I saw are Jefferson. Um, I wasn't sure what it was going to look like when I came here today because, uh, you know, I was told that they would start putting uh, tunnels underneath the roads. That, um, that sort of construction was going to start this year. So far it hasn't. And maybe that means next year I get to come back for some more uh, volunteer work, which would be really fantastic. Um, but of course the point is to get uh, those tunnels underneath the road so that the salamanders and frogs can safely cross underneath and not get hit by cars, right? But till then, they'll need people out on the road to do that uh, when breeding starts. And, uh, you know, for that sort of thing, I will absolutely be available and present for that all day long because it's such a fun time to see these animals cross to get to these vernal pools. And, uh, you know, it was absolutely fun. Uh, and also just to see the Jeffersons, which... I don't get to normally see, um, you know, really often because I have to really go out of my way to find them. Uh, I'm glad I got to document it finally. Uh, you know, it's something I really wanted to do the last time that I came, but never had a chance to do it last year and really didn't get a good look at the Vernal Pool until late in the year before uh, 2025 started. And now here we are today uh, in this, well, let me flip the camera here, this uh, duckweed infested incredibly enormous vernal pool here um you know it, it's absolutely amazing and again there's no fish in here believe it or not this looks like just a regular you know maybe large pond um there's turtles in here for sure you know they absolutely capitalize on the amphibians that reside in here uh but you know besides let's say temporary predators like that. There's no permanent predators like fish. And that's why every year those Jefferson salamanders cross from the road all the way through these trees. You can just barely see the power line and a car coming through. They'll make their way down all the way to this vernal pool to breed. So folks, that is the Jefferson salamander, Ambystema jeffersonianum. And I finally saw the larva.